Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of TV in City Skylines with me, Biffa. If you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe as well. And if you watch a bit and you enjoy this video, you can hit like. No pressure, up to you. I'll leave it totally up to you. But of course, every like means an extra sip of tea for me. So, you know, a bit of incentive there. So yeah, here we are in TV today. I'm thinking we're going to do a bit more beautification around the place because I've put a few things down at different points during the last few videos and left some room for some beautification. So I think we're going to dive into that. And if we move over to... Let me have a look. Oh, yes, I remember. It's in our little green district over here. We had a piece of land right in here that was uh, totally free and had nothing going on in there. So I've just added this little tiny car park in. And you can see that these guys and girls in our city absolutely love to use this car park, which is brilliant. And it just runs off this road here. And I put sort of a fence around it to stop them driving off it from this way. So they have to come around and park from over here. And it works really well. I like that. As so I want to put some more of those in. And I've also put in a cul-de-sac. I've got those now. We mentioned this mod on the top 10 mods of the month that we do for City Skyline official channel. And I think these cul-de-sacs are absolutely fantastic. I'll just put one in there to see what it looked like. And it is brilliant. So what I want to do is go back over here to this main area and see whether there's any obvious places where we can put a cul-de-sac in. Like here, this would be an absolutely obvious place for cul-de-sac. So cul-de-sac. Sack. There we go. Three, uh, four different sizes. We've got medium, small, extra large. That's quite a big one. And large. And you can sort of change the, the shape of them once they're in. The small one is pretty much uh, the go-to one. And when you plonk it down, it's got that little cul-de-sac look to it. And also people can build houses around it as well. So you can put in, if you want, you can go like that. So then we're going to get some houses moving to there. Got a little tiny cul-de-sac. And we could do that all the way along here. Maybe not there. And fit a few more in. What do you reckon? Oh, and there we go. Don't ju They just look amazing. Especially with the, the trees around as well. And that sort of autumn look that we've got going on with this new look. This new LUT. Oh, it's fantastic. I like those a lot. Very nice, very nice. I've just done them all along the back here by the mountain. And then I thought that'd be enough. Oh, there you go. Last one there. And we've got one next to it here as well. I thought that'd be plenty to do that. Um, so, some more car parks. Let us head... Oh, by the way, before we get to car parks, the changes that we made in the last episode over here with our cargo train terminal, um, our slip lanes and the traffic management that we did, if you want to see what that was, go and check out the last episode, has made all the difference to the traffic. Um, what time are we? 8.02 in the morning. So we're sort of coming up. Actually, this is very good. We're coming up to the time of day where people would be going to work. And we've still got 86, 87% traffic. Oh, we've got an academic report as well. Oh, excellent. So we've got a toga party. We've got two academic works. We can actually upgrade. So anyway, traffic's going well. Let's quickly nip over here then. So we've got this area over here. This city park is doing really well. And there's lots of money and upgrading as time goes on. I feel like we do need a nice big parking lot down the side here. Please ignore these trains. In fact, I'm going to move these over here. There we go. We'll get rid of those. So yeah, I feel like we need a nice big parking area in here. So we are going to be using parking. There we go. So we're going to be using this, these here. So these parking lots give you absolutely amazing huge parking lots. And they all come in different sizes. So let's grab this 58 meter parking lot. And we are going to butt that up close-ish to there. And that is going to come, I'd say, all the way to there. Excellent. So that's now a parking lot coming off of the street. And then all you need to do is put in the parking spaces and people will come and park there. Okay, so there we go. So now we have a nice big car park here. We've got some electric car parking as well here, or obviously electric bike in the case of this guy. We've got some disabled parking 
coming in here probably could do with a few more of those i might add some more in over here as well and then lots of other parking and what i just want to do here is change this junction because it counts that as a road and a junction so what i am going to do is say cars have to give way these guys can go through you can go through you can go through there we go that just keeps everything moving nice and smoothly so yeah i like that a lot that is very very good and it just adds a little something to the area doesn't it as well okay so i've been looking around my city to see what direction i'd like to take in next and i really need a nice big boost in population at the minute we have absolutely no needs at all um, and if you have a look say for instance some of our industry we can see here that we don't have enough workers and we look at this one here we don't have enough workers if we look at our university our state college university we don't have enough students so we need more people but if we have a look at say for instance let's randomly grab one of these houses over here uh, this is the show it mod that puts this little thing up on the side here and it shows you what sort of things they're missing so it's always worth a sort of look through this so high school elementary school uh, what's that healthcare Hmm, and also I think parks and plazas is going to be a big thing. If you look at leisure, yeah, unique buildings, parks and plazas. There we go. That's the one. So we do have some parks and plazas. It's hard to see because for some reason it puts that light. You probably can't see it. There's like a white thing coming up there instead of purple like that. But you can see definitely everywhere that it's red, they don't have near them any park areas so somewhere like this we could really get these guys to upgrade their houses look we've got two more levels two more levels and really maximize the potential of some of these places and i think just placing a few more parks will push us over into the next population jump which is fifteen thousand. and then we get a whole load of new things and then we could start expanding over into this area a bit more as well i don't know if you can hear that i popped a few parks around the place and already look see the green arrows already we've got houses upgrading which is exactly what i wanted to happen so that is a very good tip if your uh, city is stagnated and stuck with no growth Pop some parks down, check out what some of the needs are and take care of them and you'll soon find that you will start growing. There we go, look, and you can see most of that now is blue instead of red like it was before. So we've taken care of their need for parks. And I'm going to do the same in other parts of the city as well and see if we can hit our next target. Okay, so I've pretty much upgraded everything we can. There we go, we can see some more upgrades going on. I've got schools everywhere. We were a bit short on those. I finally passed 1 million quid, which is absolutely fantastic. And I thought I would just build out this area here a little bit. So I'd like to extend this nice, big, large area over into this bit here so i'm going to work on that and that should really help push us towards the 15,000 we need to hit the next target Right, let's see what our population is up to now. 13,500. Oh, my goodness me. We're getting there. We are expanding. I like this little area here. Nice little roundabout with a river in the middle. With a little lake in the middle, I mean. With a nice little pier. You can come and have your lunch on if you like. Yeah, I think this looks fantastic. Just need to do a little bit of traffic manager on the side here. Let's grab that one. There we go. And so you need to give way if you're coming out and joining the main roads. And that's fine. That one there, you need to give way. And that is, yeah, we've got this little connection coming out here. But that's working okay, fine. So for this whole area, we've got a connection here. We've got a connection here they can come in. And we've got lots of options of different roads in and out. So the traffic 
87% still doing okay. Nice, I like that. Ah, so we really get a good view of how our city is building up now. If you sort of sweep around here along the river, up into this section here. I've just noticed this lovely little waterfall there. Oh, we'll definitely make a feature of that once we get rid of all these electric pylons and stuff. And yeah, it's building up really nicely. Starting to get some good high-rise buildings in there. I want to build up this area here too. Definitely going to get a lot of the IT buildings and some more of these new commercial modern city centre buildings as well that we've been using in here uh, around this area. So I'm just going to uh, put together a road network in here and then we can start building around that. Okay, I've just been upgrading this park here to level 3 to get some more things for it. But look how many people are going through this park. Look. This is the park, by the way, by the train station, by the new area that I'm building. I've just sort of stuck a load of plants and trees and things like that in. Squeeze as many different things in as possible. It is an absolutely brilliant place to put a park. Look at that. We've got a nice car park here now set up which is really good. And we've got some of these other buildings here. And I'm just working on this area here to get a load more offices and things like that in. I'd like to fill up every little gap to have offices everywhere. So I'm going to keep on chipping away at this little area. And we're going to see how it looks in a couple of moments. Auto save, sip of tea. Not had one of those in a while. Mm. Lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, listen to that sound of people upgrading their houses. I'm absolutely loving it. We're getting right up close to the coast as well along here, which is brilliant. Oh, look at this area. Look at this area. It is looking fantastic. We must be so close to 15,000. Let's take it out of this view. Oh, 14,729. We are nearly there. I've popped this little museum in the middle. One Museum Park Plaza. Because I know some people are going to ask me about that. There we go. And then I put some services. We've got 
a sports hall and gymnasium. There we go. See the Kiddly Winkies running out. We've got a couple of little schools popped around here as well. There's the school. Looking great. And then we've got like a fire engine, the police house and all those sort of things all in here. And we finally hit Big City. 15,000. We can have the Liberal Arch College Campus. Visiting scholars, all sorts of new things down here to hit as well. That is absolutely brilliant. 18,000 for the next one. But that now means we can open up another square if we so wish, which is what we were aiming for at some point, if I remember correctly. But what do you reckon to this new area? Well, there we go. We've grown. We've hit our target. We've beautified the city. We've got boomers coming out of our ear rolls. Yes, the city is growing nice and big. And, of course, sorting out the roundabout. Nearly forgot. Thought I'd just slip it in at the end of the video here. So, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you're new. I will see you very soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.